Hi and a very good evening to all of you. I am Gulafsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another special session whereby today we are going to talk about all the nuances of the Monetary Policy Committee meeting that was held yesterday, that is on 3rd of November 2022. So who all attended the meeting? Why was this meeting held in the first place? And the motive of this video is to give you a conceptual understanding why at the very first place this flexible inflation targeting framework was introduced in India and adopted by the government of India for the monetary policy actions in India. And which committee recommended such inflation targeting system and what all amendments were made to the RBI Act of 1934 in order to have a smooth functioning of the flexible inflation targeting system. So let's get started. But before that, if you have still not downloaded the app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Any kind of exam related updates, live video sessions, top of strategies, as well as past year papers and their analysis are available on this app. Make use of this app to prepare and further leverage your performance in the upcoming examinations. So let's get started. So this is what was there in the news whereby it said that yesterday that is on November 3rd, November 3rd 2022 the MPC meeting held a special off cycle meeting. So the MPC the monetary policy committee of RBI held a special off cycle meeting. What do you mean by off cycle? So the monetary policy committee at the starting of the year decides how many meetings are to be conducted in a year. Apart from those dates, if any other meetings are held, then such meetings are known as off-cycle meeting. And for the financial year 2022-23, this is the second off-cycle special meeting held by RBI. And the purpose of this special off-cycle meeting is to discuss and to draft a framework, a draft, a report that is to be submitted to the central government stating the reasons why the RBI's monetary policy committee failed to maintain the inflation target that was meant to be maintained during the year, right? And apart from that, who all attended the meeting? So the meeting was chaired by RBI's governor, Shakti Kanta Das. And apart from that, all the members of the monetary policy committee attended the meeting. And one more significance of this meeting is that this meeting was held one day after the U.S. Federal Reserve held their meeting in the U.S. discussing and having a policy rate hike of 75 basis point. So a policy rate hike of 75 basis point was announced in the U.S. in order to control or contain their inflation in the U.S. And as you all know, if the US is increasing the interest rate, its policy rate, then India. So India in the next, in the very next meeting, which is scheduled to be held in the month of December, will also be hiking its policy repo rate. So our repo rate, there are chances that our repo rate is going to be increased in the very next meeting. Because if we do not increase here, then we will be losing out on our financial investors. So all kinds of FPIs, they will be less attracted to invest money in India because of the interest rate differential, which we have talked a number of times in our sessions. So I hope this part is clear to you. The implication of this is clear to you. Now, apart from that, as we all know that CPI, the consumer price based inflation in India has been hovering over 7%. And in the month of September, it was around 7.4%. And that's the reason why the Monetary Policy Committee of the RBI has failed to maintain its inflation target within the range of 4% plus or minus 2%. So this was the range, the tolerable range that is 4 plus or minus 2%, which says that the lower band is 2% and the higher band is 6%. But our CPI based inflation has been more than 6% for 9 consecutive months. So 9 straight months ke liye hamara CPI 6% se zyada hai. And that is the reason why the act says if the monetary policy committee fails to maintain the inflation target for 3 consecutive quarters, then 
then this monetary policy committee of the RBI is required to hold a special meeting in order to discuss and list down the reasons for the failure, what remedial actions can be taken so that these failures could be removed, and third, in what time, in what time these failures will be removed by effective implementation of the remedial actions suggested or propagated by the monetary policy committee. And this report is needed to be submitted by RBI, the central bank to the central government. Now, as you all know that RBI also started with the policy rate hike from the month of May. So, May se unhone start kar diya tha policy rate hike and many people, economists all over the country, they argue that the policy hike should have started before May. It should have started from the month of June onwards. But it is but in the words of the governor of RBI, that is Shakti Kanta Das, he says that uh, while they projected the inflation rate for the whole year, they according to the projections of RBI, they found that in the financial year 2022-23, inflation would come around 5%. But because of so many external things that happened, for instance, because the major reason is the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine war. Because of that, all the dynamics change in the macroeconomic outlook. And because of that, we face global supply pressures, high input prices, high crude oil prices, and all of these resulted in high inflation and that's the reason why the RBI governor or the monetary policy committee started with its policy rate hikening from the month of May and till now we have seen a repo rate hike of 190 basis point and right now our repo rate is around 5.9 percent. So this is what the RBI governor had talked about in its in one of the press releases and because of that, this is the reason why we are facing a higher inflation in the country and this policy rate hike is meant to control or contain this inflation, but we are unable, we have been unable to maintain this, right? And as you can see in this graph, it says that our inflation for the month of September had been around 7.4%. So data for the month of October is yet to be released by MOSPI, the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Whatever data we have, according to that, our inflation has been hovering. So in last year, month of September, it was around 4.3%, but now it has increased to 7.4%. And which, or which act says that if the RBI or the Monetary Policy Committee fails to maintain the inflation target, then they are required to write a report and draft a report and such report is to be submitted to the government and they also are required to mention the remedial actions. So all of these we are going to study. So this was all in the news. Let's talk about the monetary policy framework. Now this monetary policy framework was first for the first time suggested by the Urjit Patel committee. So in the year 2014, in the year 2014, the chairman of this committee, the expert committee, in order to revise and strengthen the monetary policy framework was formed and whose chairman was Dr. Urjit R. Patel. Now this person suggested, so this committee suggested that the accountability of the decision of the monetary policy action. So whatever monetary policy actions are taken in the economy, the accountability of such decisions should not be on just one person. Who is that one person? It should not just be on the governor of RBI. It should be on a range of people. It should be on a group of members. And therefore, he suggested the formation of the Monetary Policy Committee. Therefore, thereby, he says that the onus or the responsibility and the accountability should fall upon a majority and not just an individual. So that we have a broader perspective in terms of what people say about the monetary policy framework and thereby we can have a more stable and a smooth functioning policy rate for our economy. Okay? So MPC ki formation ki baat kari. Uske alawa, the committee also recommended in order to have a better implementation of the decision to have a target-based inflation. 
so they talked about or defined a target based inflation and that's the that's the reason why we came up with the inflation target right the flexible inflation target which is within the range of 4% plus or minus 2% tolerance band i hope this is clear to you right so iske wajah se hi inflation targeting system the flexible inflation targeting system was introduced and based on the recommendation of urjit patel committee all of these features were introduced by the central government into the india's economy so ye sare features laaye gaye the and that's the reason why in the year 2016 an amendment was made to the rbi act of 1934 1934 in order to give effect to such recommendations theek hai ab because of these recommendations one more better thing happened the better thing was developed countries all over the world in many countries follow a flexible inflation targeting framework so they have a defined target and based on that target they try to maintain the inflation level in the country and in order to have that a level that desired level of inflation level they make use of the monetary policy tools such as the repo rate and other rep policy rates in order to have in order to achieve that desired level of inflation in the economy so that the balance between the inflation and the growth is maintained in the economy you don't want your your growth to be hampered and you do not want that all the inflation to eat up your growth therefore inflation is also required for the economy i hope you all must be knowing by now that inflation per se is not bad a very high or a very low inflation is bad for the economy but a consistent level of inflation is good for the economy because it shows that production is increasing in the economy and therefore this increase in the production will lead to an increase in the economic growth in the in the economy right and therefore a balance needs to be struck between inflation and growth into the economy and by adopting this uh, recommendation by the urjit patel committee we actually made to the list of the countries who had an inflation targeting framework system thereby we have also modernized in terms of monetary policy actions the monetary policy framework ke case mein bhi we have also modernized ourselves and based on the recommendation the first was setting up of a monetary policy committee a six member monetary policy committee and the work or the function of this monetary policy committee was to set up the policy repo rate so in order to achieve the inflation target the work or the function of the mpc is to set the policy repo rate apart from that we transition ourselves in the year 2016 towards the flexible inflation targeting framework why this was flexible because we have a band plus minus 2% is the band and this inflation targeting system is based on cpi now you all must be aware that before cpi wpi was used as the headline inflation by rbi but after this flexible inflation targeting system was adopted in india we came to cpi so cpi was taken as the base as the inflation as the retail as the headline inflation to be watched in order to decide the inflation target now the question arises is who decides the inflation target so let me answer you so the inflation target is decided by the central government so this should be very clear to you it is not decided by rbi it is not decided by the monetary policy committee it is decided by the central government in consultation with rbi so aise aap bol sakte ho so let's see forward what else we have so this is the section under the rbi act jaise maine aapko bataya in sab cheezon ko all this uh, recommendations were adopted and for that rbi act of 1934 was to be amended and because of the amendment because of the amendment these all sections were introduced for example section 45 za which says that in order to have an inflation target it is the work of the central government who in consultation with rbi will determine the inflation target for india and this inflation target will be based on the consumer price index 
and the inflation target is to be decided once in every five years. So 2016 में decide हुआ था तो 2016 to 2021 तक the inflation target was plus four plus or minus two percent. And from 2021 to 27, right? 2021, 21 to 20, 26, right? Five years. अभी क्या है हमारा inflation target? It is the same. It is four percent plus or minus two percent. The same inflation target has been adopted. For this five years as well. Second section, that is section 45 ZB. So it starts from section 45 ZA, the Monetary Policy Committee. First, it talks about the inflation target, which is to be decided by the central government. Then comes the constitution of the Monetary Policy Committee, which section defines this. So it is section 45 ZB. Now this section and the composition is very very important for your exam. Direct questions can be asked from this in the form of statement wise. So, ये आपको याद होने चाहिए inflation target कौन decide करता है क्योंकि यहाँ पे confusion होने के बहुत सारे chances हैं, right? Now, section 45 ZB talks about the constitution of a monetary policy committee and this who is going to constitute this committee. So, as the inflation target is to be decided by central government. The MPC is also to be constituted by the central government. Please keep this in mind that the constitution of MPC is not done by RBI; it is done by the central government, right? So, central government uh, constitutes the monetary policy committee, and we know there are six members. So, the chairperson ex officio, by nature, by default, would be the governor. Then we have another member by default who is going to be the deputy governor. तो डेप्यूटी गवर्नर होंगे गवर्नर होंगे अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वन ऑफिसर ऑफ आरबीआई एस टू बी नॉमिनेटेड नॉट इलेक्टेड बट नॉमिनेटेड बाय द सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ आरबीआई एंड ही इज आल्सो गोइंग टू बी अ मेंबर एक्स ऑफिशियो तो तीन मेंबर्स आरबीआई से होंगे द रेस्ट थ्री आर इज टू बी अपॉइंटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट सिक्स मेंबर्स थ्री फ्रॉम आरबीआई थ्री फ्रॉम अपॉइंटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट and this three persons should be persons of ability integrity and standing having knowledge in the domain of banking finance economy or monetary policy these are the features that they should have in order to be appointed as a member of the monetary policy committee and what is the work of mpc as i have talked about to determine the policy rate in order to achieve the inflation target and one more thing whatever decision that is taken by the monetary policy committee all such decision will be binding on rbi rbi ko ko manni hi padegi right so whatever policy rate the npc decides is to be taken as it is by rbi i hope this is clear to you now let's move forward and this is very important and all the important points are covered here from the perspective of the monetary policy committee next is the eligibility the holding of office by the members of mpc so any member of the mpc will hold the office of the monetary policy committee for a period of 4 years again this becomes important is there any kind of reappointment no they are not eligible for any kind of reappointment please remember this as a question aapke sebi mein dekha gaya hai ki bahut zyada pucha jata hai sebi pfrd all such exams ask such questions तो आपको पता होना चाहिए दैट मेंबर्स ऑफ एमपीसी आर अपॉइंटेड फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फोर इयर्स एंड नो दे आर दे आर नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ री अपॉइंटमेंट दैट इज अगर उनका चार साल का पीरियड खत्म हो गया दे कैन नॉट बी री अपॉइंटेड कोरम एज वी हैव डिसाइडेड एज वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट कोरम का मतलब होता है हाउ मेनी मेंबर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वीन द मीटिंग ऑफ द एमपीसी तो एटलीस्ट फोर मेंबर्स शुड बी प्रेजेंट आउट ऑफ सिक्स आउट ऑफ सिक्स फोर शुड बी प्रेजेंट and out of these four at least one member should be the governor and if the governor is absent then at least one member should be the deputy governor and the governor or the deputy governor will be presiding the meeting of the monetary policy committee kon preside karega if the governor is present it will be done by the governor otherwise it will be done by the deputy governor the next point is how many meetings of mpc should be held in a year so according to the mandate in the rbi act it says that in one financial year at least four meetings should be held char meetings hone hi chahiye 
but it can increase and you can have additional meeting as well as i have talked about when can you have an additional meeting if the governor feels that because of the emergency uh, exigency or the financial exigencies in the economy if if the members of the mpc committee feels that a meeting should be scheduled then additional meeting can be held and secondly if the mpc or rbi fails to meet the inflation target in that case an additional or a special off cycle meeting can be held right now this is the section that talks about failure to maintain inflation target that is section 45 zn very important so what does this section of the rbi act 1934 states it states that if rbi fails to maintain the inflation target it shall set out in a report to the central government the following things what reasons what are the reasons why they fail to achieve the inflation target so here the reason could be the ongoing the russia ukraine war and all kinds of global spillovers and macroeconomic outlook that went gloomy and bleak because of the war right second what remedial actions are to be taken in order to reduce or get over this missed inflation target and in what time an estimate of the time period within which these remedial actions will be taken up by the monetary policy committee so that they uh, they can timely implement the remedial actions and can have their desired level of inflation target now what what all what were discussed in yesterday's meeting are not disclosed as of now because it will first be given to the central government once the central government receives after that it will be open in public for the public to have a look what all were discussed in the meeting in the off cycle special meeting right and the last that we have is the regulation that is regulation 7 so along when when we adopted the inflation targeting framework the flexible inflation targeting framework for india so we amended the rbi act 1934 apart from that we also had a separate regulation that regulation is known as mpc and monetary policy process regulations 2016 aur us regulation ka jo sabse last regulation hai that is regulation 7 talks about the process to be followed in the event of failure to maintain the inflation target whereby it says that a special meeting is to be held as part of the normal policy process and thereby the members of mpc will discuss and draft a report which rbi will be sending it to the central government right and this report should be sent to the central government within one month now this time frame becomes very important ye aapko kahin milega nahi it is very important because one month from which date so so any kind of draft that is the report that is to be sent to the central government is to be submitted within one month from the date on which mpc has failed to meet the inflation target so jaise hi nine months pure hue three quarters pure hue aapke from that date to one month time distance you need to submit a report to the central government i hope this is clear to you so this was all that i wanted to discuss the factual thing it is very important for you to know right so yes this was all i hope you like the session in case of any doubt you can write it down in the comment section till then keep learning and bye bye